All right, welcome back. So here is a kind of a, a quick introduction to Milanguero style. And we're gonna show you the Milanguero style turn because I use it quite a bit when I'm dancing, especially when it's more like chunky, heavy music, like older music, or maybe Darienzo. And when I'm dancing something more uh, rhythm, more uh, legato or, you know, kind of, you know, soft with longer strings or, you know, things like this. Um, you know, maybe some disarly or something, I'm going to dance with more pivot and a bit more flow feeling. So the Milan Ghetto style is more chest to chest without the, the rotation in the chest because there isn't the pivot of the hips away from the chest. So there's these two kind of main styles to do the hero and uh, both are very viable options and I just want to show you both options so that you can play around with them as you become, um, you know, as you get more comfortable dancing, you've got both of these as options. And we're gonna talk about how to lead these two options. So in the first one, in, in, with the uh, hero with the turn, we had to use our frame, and we're creating that push and pull to create pivot. In this version, we won't have twist in our chest. We're gonna move just as blocks, both leader and follower. So it's kind of like um, as if you were in a hug the entire time because the chest is just staying focused towards each other the entire time. So first, starting out with the Milanguero uh, Hiro, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this by ourselves. And so we're gonna make a tight little turn. What I'm gonna have you do is, and leaders, you should try this as well, just getting an idea. Put your weight on your right foot and bring your left foot to a tight cross behind. And then from here, we're gonna pick up the right heel and we're gonna bring the right heel over our toes as we twist and take a side step. From here, we will twist on our right foot into a forward cross. We want the toes together and the heels can be slightly apart. We bring the right foot out and go to another side step. And now we've made our turn. The same thing, um, what would be good now is if you pause the video and try that exact same thing back cross side step forward cross side step keep that pattern going that's the pattern of the hero back side forward side back side forward side all right so then we'll when you're ready hit play and so moving on we're going to do the same thing going to our left we're going to put our weight on our left foot and bring the right foot behind the left into a tight back cross we're going to pick the left heel up and slide it over our toes as we take that side step. And then from here we'll continue and pivot on the left foot as we make this cross. And then we're gonna unwind that foot to take that side step. All right, so pause the video and try that going to the left now. So moving on then, we're gonna be in a tight close embrace. Again, it's kinda of like we're in this hug where we don't, our, our chest is not gonna move away from each other and the hips are not either. So the way to start this is, and it, it's actually a good idea to start in the hug, we'll even do that with you. So go to this hug and then take this side step. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna think about bringing the follower around you leaders a bit like, um, like you're the center of the circle and she's going around you. So here, instead of thinking about twisting my chest, I don't wanna twist my chest. I'm gonna keep it straight and I'm just gonna to move to the left as she makes that back cross. And I keep moving to the left as she takes a side step. And I move to the left and she makes that forward cross. And notice how the body moves as a block here. She takes a side step, here's that back cross. Side step, forward cross. Side step, back cross. Yeah. So it's good to, again, keep the hips forward towards your partner. Keep your toes pointed towards your partner as you do this. You don't want to turn your, your lower half away from your partner. So you can watch the video, you can slow it down and, and see exactly what we're doing here in that we're not twisting away from each other. So leaders, when you go to, to turn to in one direction, what you want to do is not twist your chest away from your hips. You want to move everything just as one piece. Literally just keeping everything as one block as you move in either direction. And you can try this going to the, to, to the left and to your right. Either one, um, the left is going to be more comfortable and the right is going to be a little more uncomfortable uh, right now, but that will change as time goes on. Most likely, that's, that's generally what people find. Okay, so work on that 
And when you're ready, you can move on to the next video and we will see you there.